skirmish was fought in 1934. Our young Olaf Helen was killed in that war to keep the scab cargo from moving. Our elders that summer did battle a train. In 2011, we'll fight one again to keep the big bungee from scabbing its grain across the Longshore jurisdiction. Today we are facing a terrible foe, a company founded on slave trading dough that moved into grain 20 decades ago, directed by Johann P. Bungie. The grandson of Bungie built Bungie and born, he treated the people with terrible scorn, and thousands were slaughtered so he could own corn that's grown on the Argentine prairie. Then now how their power and money did roll, they purchase whole government's body and soul. Now ADM, Cargill, and Bungie control two-thirds of the grain on the planet. Wherever they go, they're exempted from tax. They're given the subsidized railroad tracks. They're given good land that they never give back. We think they should pay union wages. On Bastille Day, the 14th of July, 200 men sat on the railroad ties, declaring the bungee train wouldn't pass by unless it was going to hire them. The sheriff remarked that it was a nice day, suggesting the longshoremen move out the way. They answered him back in the same polite way, declining to take his suggestion. The engineer trainmen sat logging their time. They said that they wouldn't cross over our line. For health and for safety, they'd rather decline to pull any closer to Longview. The PMA merchants and Bungie conspire to bust up our unions. It is their desire until we die working and never retire like timber that's cut from the mountain. September the 7th, they brought the train back with riot policemen to lead the attack. With tear gas and truncheons, they cleared off the track to Longview up out of Vancouver. When Robert McElrath was struck by a cop, we had but two choices, keep working or stop. The hammerheads hung and the chassis did drop from Portland to north of Seattle. By long coastal highways through dead of the night, we mustered in hundreds prepared for a fight. The coppers and rent -a cops turned in full flight, but we never took any hostage. And so Then someone heroic, and I don't know who, it sure wasn't me, and it sure wasn't you, uncoupled the brake lines, and out the air flew, while corn was poured out at each hopper. <laughs> what good is this grain covered with pesticide, if it make a farmer commit suicide? What good is this rail car with it inside, if it don't employ a longshoreman? The global economy isn't so new There's many before you who lived in one too Each man is your brother, so let him pass through But cargo's a quite different question When cargo is dry goods that travel the sea Make sure it pays well, never move it for free When cargo is human, then set them all free And fight for their full reparations when cargo is fruit that you refrigerate, go find out who picks it before it's too late. Do not let their union be crushed by a state that's run by Chiquita Banana. The sheriff's men come now to take us away. They come to our homes at the dawn of the day. They say we are wicked to want decent pay and that they will crush the longshoremen. Come all working people wherever you are, pile all of your friends in to pick up our car. Prevent Bungie's cargo from moving too far And stand with the workers of Longview Was down in Smith by the Seattle shore A skirmish was fought in 1934 Our young Olaf Helen was killed in that war To keep the scab cargo from moving Our elders that summer did battle a train In 2011 we'll fight one again To keep the big Bungie from scabbing its grain across the Longshore jurisdiction.